The Soviet influence is clear in the design of the Hungarian FUG though much has been added to make the FUG a wholly Hungarian design. The vehicle was introduced in 1964 after a few years of development to become an amphibious armored scout car in the same mold as the Soviet BRDM 4x4 series vehicles. Despite its Cold War introduction, the vehicle still sees operational service in the world today, though to a limited extent. At its core, the FUG is a 7-ton armored system seated atop a leaf-sprung suspension system. The hull is of welded armor with a thickness reaching 13 mm at critical facings which offers basic ballistics protection to the crew of two with additional internal room for four others. The hull armor is well faceted to provide angled surfaces for incoming projectiles, save for the lower hull sides and rear. Dimensions include a running length of 6 meters, a width of 2.5 meters and a height of 2 meters. The standard operating crew manages two positions at the front of the hull and are protected behind thick glass windscreens. These screens are also offered hinged armored vision ports for added protection. Firing ports along the side of the hull allow occupants to engage incoming enemy infantry. The glassy plate is well sloped to promote a very shallow incoming target. Entry exit is through hull roof mounted hatches while a floor hatch is available for emergency exiting. Power is derived from a Siebel D414.44 four-cylinder inline diesel engine developing 100 horsepower. The power plant is held in a rear compartment which opens the center and front of the hull for the crew area. The engine allows for a maximum road speed of 87 km per hour to be reached as well as a 600 km operational range. The suspension system and drivetrain, coupled to the 340mm ground clearance quality, allow the vehicle to traverse off-road when needed. The wheels are well spaced in the design and of a large rubber tired shape, their air pressure controlled by the driver on the fly. Additionally, for small wheels can be lowered by the driver to improve ground contact, this proving particularly useful over uneven terrain or when attempting to cross trenches. Along with its on-road slash off-road qualities, the FUG is also amphibious, able to propel through water sources at a top listed speed of 9 km per hour. Two water jets at the lower rear of the hull supply the necessary propulsion, as in the Soviet BRDM line, though those only use one water jet. Hungary initially introduced the base vehicle as the D442.00 FUG model. A command vehicle then followed as the PKFUG. The VSFUG became an NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, vehicle while the MRPFUG served as a forward air control FAC, post vehicle. The MUFUG was a dedicated engineering reconnaissance platform. The line received a major revision in the 1970s with the arrival of the PSCH APC model. This form introduced a powered, fully enclosed turret seated atop the whole roof as standard. Armament was a 14.5mm KPVT heavy machine gun coupled with a 7.62mm KGKT coaxial machine gun. The weapons allowed the vehicle to counter low-flying aerial threats as well as enemy infantry at range. IR spotlights aided in low-light conditions and power was served through a D-414.44 diesel engine of 100 horsepower. The PSCH line was born through the initial D944.00 production model. The engine was improved to 110 horsepower in the follow-up PSCHM of 1988. The PSCHF was fielded by special Hungarian Army reconnaissance platoons. A specialized model was handed to border internal security and border patrol units. The command vehicle version became the SCDPKPSCH and a difference in equipment begot the ZPKPSCH variant. A staff chief variant emerged as the ZTOFPSCH and a commander version was the OPKPSCH with a difference in radios and onboard reconnaissance equipment. Operators beyond the Hungarian army became Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, East Germany, Iraq, Poland and Romania. The East German Army managed no less than a stock of 1,360 examples and these were then absorbed into the reunified German nation, and then later sold off or simply scrapped. 
Iraq took on a stock of approximately 150 units but these are no longer viable in the modern Iraqi army. Polish versions was retired during the 1980s.